what is the ideal wor- world that you want to live in? Like, do you have a perfect place? That I see, I always have this perfect place that I always dream about, where um, I it's, I have the freedom to express uh, love to anybody. Um, I had a guy that I met recently that I went on a date where he wanted to catch my hand, but I was scared. I was scared to catch his hand in public. So I would want to live in a world where I can express love freely. You know. So do you have a ideal? place or ideal world to live in i think i've been in two relationships i've also been with a woman mm-hmm. for quite some time which mm-hmm. you're aware of mm-hmm. so i i think i don't think of a rosy world like you do probably because i've probably experienced those things mm-hmm. that said um i think for me a perfect place would be a place wherein um douchebags get justice <laughs> you know <laughs> if you're a douchebag if you're an a hole you know <laughs> you get justice that's the ideal world you know where mm-hmm. karma acts instantly mm-hmm. you know and also um god rewards you based on whatever you do or nature rewards you based on whatever you do you mm-hmm. i mean look at the world that we've created now i mean animals are dying so many of our um exotic species of flora and fauna have mm-hmm. disappeared almost mm-hmm. and a lot of them are endangered you know my place my ideal world is a world wherein i'm able to enjoy nature mm-hmm. my future generations are able to enjoy nature we live mm-hmm. in a responsible world i mean as you mentioned um being able to express yourself is one part of it mm-hmm. but there are a lot more issues that concern um the world mm-hmm. i mean there's there's uh, this you know this duck that we both know who i'm talking of uh needs to be taken care of because he is planning to start a war with Korea and what not and there's there's so people like him should definitely get some justice in an ideal world you know in my mm-hmm. ideal world um dbacks like him probably get dethroned mm-hmm. and probably are you know smeared with charcoal on their face and ran behind tied to a bull all across you know the world that's, that's my good. ideal world okay. let's say you know cool. when karma gives you reward instantly and a lot of nature a lot of animals a lot of um, a lot of um, natural resources mm-hmm. are available for our future generations because frankly we are almost you know on mm-hmm. the verge of verge collapsing of our collapsing. planet you know right now coming back to the last bit of this show uh, would you like to spill some chai on someone or uh, some some place or something that you want to talk about but you never got the chance to talk about and you have this platform to actually spill tea ever on the table on the floor all over the place hmm okay that's quite a difficult question <laughs> i thought i was spilling tea all through yes uh, that's that's what i felt as well throughout the show you were spilling tea <laughs> but maybe you can actually talk in some hmm like you know maybe like you touched upon maybe gay politics and maybe you can talk a little more about it okay so um there are a lot of people in this city mm-hmm. that really need to get laid and need to get laid hard <laughs> you know and probably keep getting laid for the rest of their lives because they've done so much of shit that it's oozing out of their asses and i can literally smell it in my house you know <laughs> I mean that's Have one. Have they done in something in particular with you that you want to like call out on? There's this whole image that you know people have that I'm some sort of slut with okay. some insatiable sex drive which I've never understood why and where it, does that stem from? And frankly, I was tired of it and now I really want those douche packs to really get some sex, you know. Have better <laughs> things to then, you know, talk about me. Go get a hobby, lose weight, get go join a gym, swim, you know. learn music or anything else you know get a get a job you know get some real thing that actually does something positive i mean i recently wrote a post on my instagram which you must have seen you know about yeah. people um shaming fat you. shaming people yeah. i'm not just me i mean it was it was more about people just attacking people in general mm-hmm. get a hobby get something positive in life if you can't do that come to me i'll tell you what to do <laughs> <it is. laughs> so i i I've, I've, i've always been telling like you know uh what is one thing that i need to tell the world and i said just have plenty of sex and because i know a lot of idiots who need a bunch of dicks or a bag of dicks so they need to like literally loosen themselves up i think you can give them a 30 no <laughs> 31 i i keep telling year? that i we need to give them a glass dildo you know no, that that'll break <laughs> it's too tight <laughs> nothing's going inside so uh anyway 
now we spilled the tea i think i spilled some on my sari as well <laughs> so <laughs> like what are the worst pickup lines that people said to you and what's the best pickup line that you have said to people the worst pickup lines that people have said to me and yeah. the best pickup lines i would use yeah okay um there's so many because i do get a lot of such <laughs> worst pickup lines you can pick lines. one but let's say there was this one comment that um i really did feel disgusted by mm-hmm. um so there are these people who are into um i don't know what, what to how to put it um sexual with the sexual it is sexual i'm just i'm just thinking how to put it because it's really disgusting mm. you know there are people who um are into smelling farts okay okay mm-hmm. and then they sort of say these really icky things to you like uh-huh. oh honey i really love you you know i would really love for you to sit on my face and just lose one it's just 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 a really really long big one and you know, someone like, has done that to you no uh, okay. no no god no 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 dan has in said this line to you yeah and i'm actually thinking uh, is he talking about his dick i don't know wait he's talking about sitting on my face oh uh, me sitting on his face and losing one uh, what the hell and then i realized oh fuck this guy is into farts and another thing that that just i just realized i just remembered you know um somebody just so somebody is into slave and master sex now it can be yes. No 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 that's different. Okay okay you yeah. mean domination and some this that's different. Okay. <laughs> I'm new to this. So yeah. <laughs> okay so there's this guy who apparently you know wants to beat the shit out of you and wants to make you fall in love with him. You know. Okay. And I really wonder where do I put this, you okay. know? At one point it really really makes you feel like you want to lose your power to them. And the other you just think is the person really going to beat the shit out of you and then mm-hmm. when you realize yeah, he actually does want to beat the shit out of you uh-huh. it's a really sad pick up line from movies okay. mean, maybe it happens in porn when somebody's paying me a thousand dollars but even if you paid a million i won't do it i think this qualifies to be a really really sad pick up line because i can tell you haven't had action for quite some time <laughs> you know and what is your the best pick up line that you have used and you've got like like you went like sailing through the whole thing like he just came like let's go on a date or something like that on the line i think that something i have to uh, from the mention what um, you know my my first ex told me i i remember that from my life you know mm. and it, and it was the best thing that somebody could say you know um so i had we, we were talking and he just stopped responding and you know i i just sent him hey was i that boring and he said no i was thinking how to impress you but i couldn't come up with something how about i just buy you dinner Mm. and that's something that was very very sweet and sometimes you just really want to hear that mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know mm. just just honest yeah being honest that's that's yeah. the ticket to any sort of relationship being honest actually so thank you so much ashish for sharing and spilling the tea like throughout the episode you consistently spilled tea and that was what the show is about and <laughs> and uh, we'll see you soon and uh, thank you so much and uh, bye